welcome back. This is part two of um, my play, Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. So we've just um, just visited the Burgermeister, and we're going to continue on and keep on exploring through the town of Mordavia. Danny's not with, with us on this recording. It's just me, Joe. This general store is cheery and well lit, thanks to the warm hearth. The first things that you notice are the cats. They seem to be everywhere. Then you see the shopkeeper, sitting on her rocking chair as she knits. She's a very, well, uh, sturdy looking woman. So, you're the stranger in town. <laughs> I've heard all about you already. How could she have heard us about us already? doesn't completely make sense. But anyway. Yeah, polite, aren't you? Uh, manners are as manners do, as my husband used to say. We'll see. We'll check out what she's got for sale. Garlic candy, oil flask, pie pan, hand broom, shopping bag, trail rations. Um, well, I think pretty much everything here is going to come in handy, except for the hand broom, because that is actually part of a side quest involving the Rizolka, if you play as a paladin. So, anyway, we'll get everything else. This shopping bag comes in handy for something that makes no connection to what you think it's for. And trail rations. Pretty much every time the um, the character says that he's hungry or you need food, this is the thing that's going to stop you from whinging pretty much. This keeps him full all the time throughout the whole game. And trust me, he can get hungry at the most inconvenient of times, so it's very handy to stock up on these. How many sandwiches did we buy? Eight. These avocado and garlic sandwiches are the strangest adventuring meal you've ever encountered. Still, they do last a long time and they will keep you from starving to death. Of course, you may wish you'd starve to death if you had to eat them too often. Well, unfortunately, buddy, um, <laughs> not much more we can provide you unless you, keep, you like nibbling corn. You nibble some corn. I mean, I don't think nibbling corn's gonna cut it for too long. Eventually, you're gonna have to touch those sandwiches. This game didn't really give you much option to eat anything else besides the food at the inn. Buy a couple more. I don't really want to have to come back here in a rush for an avocado sandwich. If you must know. My name is Olga Stovich. <laughs> What's your name, stranger, and uh, what are you doing in Mordavia? You tell her a few things about yourself. Oh, professional hero, huh? <laughs> Easy to say, hard to do. We'll see. Well, we did a good job coming here through the swamp already, so... Maybe you should watch what you're saying. She likes to gossip. She loves rumors. She doesn't know if they're true or false, or it doesn't matter. She believes everything she says, and she loves to talk. What would you like to know about? See? Knowledgeable on every topic of conversation. What about the werewolves? Werewolves are gypsies. No question about it. They change into wolves at night, eating anyone they can get. Nothing can kill a werewolf but silver or magic. So you be careful out in the woods at night, you hear me? The gypsy camp is not at all that far from here. Mm. 
innkeeper's wife. Yeah, Bella's a good woman. She's the one who really runs the inn. Her husband just gives orders. Someday she'll give Yuri a piece of her mind and good for her. <laughs> the things she puts up with. Bella, she was a pretty woman not long ago. Was not called Bella for nothing. Losing her only child really aged her. What a tragedy. Mm. That's interesting. They lost their only child. Quite a sad story. I wonder if it has anything to do with the castle. The castle north of town was abandoned for many years. Then, some strangers moved in four years ago. No one knows what goes on there now. But it won't be for the good, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. We'll, uh, we'll make a thief sign. The shopkeeper looks concerned when you make the thief sign. I am sorry, but I don't have any medication for epileptics. Maybe Dr. Cranium could help you. She's obviously not part of the thieves' guild, is she? Oh, it was a nice try. What about the cats? Look at that tail. I just want to pull it. Careful. The cats may explode if you touch them. They're perfectly content where they are. Warm your hands by the fire. It feels cozy and nice. Uh, please, uh, don't handle the merchandise. If you need something, I uh, will be happy to help you with it. I'm sure you would. Alright, we're getting out of here. Uh, goodbye. Or, as my dear departed Boris used to say, may the wind blow fair at your back. So, what do we have? Very good, a key ring. Yes, which keys do we have? The Adventurer's Guild Key. Okay. Let's give that a go. As you enter the northern part of the town, you hear the sound of a chisel chipping away at a stone block. A man is carving gravestones at one end of the street. Your attention quickly moves from the stone carver to the ominous gothic building in the center of the street. There is definitely something not right about this structure. What's not right about it? I mean, there's these um, embossed sculptures. Some kind of strange tentacle beast that looks like it's guarding the door. It's huge, look at it. It's taking over the whole the whole screen pretty much. And the sky above it even looks demented. And there's a tree. Like it's pretty suggestive that this is not a good place to go. And there's grave tomb uh, gravestones here, even if the purpose of them are not actually dead people, but it's an advertisement for Igor's headstone business. It's way too heavy to move. Look at this guild. There's uh, two floors. It's all run down. Boarded up window. Is that a window or a collapsing wall? I don't even know. Can we go this way? Nope. From the hump on his back to his twisted body, this is either the Hunchback of Notre Dame a mad scientist lab assistant, a grave digger, or an Elvis impersonator? Definitely an Elvis impersonator. Definitely. Can we say anything? We'll say hello. The headstone carver stares at you and then goes back to work. Hmm. Make the peculiar motions of the thief sign to Igor. You make fun of Igor or what? <laughs> He's very self-cautious. You introduce yourself to the gravedigger. Me, Igor! Okay. 
Where about? Can we climb up? You can't get there from here. It's out of reach. What about this window? The wall is too smooth to climb with your level of skill. Ooh. That means we can climb it. We just need to practice. The wall is too smooth to climb with your level of skill. See? Our, um... Stamina went down. The wall is too smooth to climb with your level of skill. Very good. Let's have a look. Climbing. 205. I don't think it moved. I will have to do a lot more training for that to happen. The door is locked. You locked the door using the key the Burgermeister gave you. I would have wanted to pick that lock, being a thief, but I didn't have the option. Hmm, rope and grapnel. You pick up the rope and grapnel set and tie it onto your pack. And uh, there's a bit of a hook a up here. A large ring is securely attached to the ceiling. Someone has deliberately scraped these marks into the ceiling. Mm. That looks like a four-legged creature that's jumping off the ground. And the eye of the creature is misplaced from its head. It's either that or look under the table. I'm not really sure which one it is. Okay, can we look under the table? This desk holds the adventurer's logbook, a quill pen, and an inkwell. Well, being a thief, I don't know if the best idea is to just imprint your name into the logbook to say, hey, I'm a thief, and here's my name and number, contact me if anything goes missing. I'm not really sure if that's the best idea. Four, two, one, three. That didn't... I'm not really sure how to solve this puzzle. One. Let's try this again. Four, two, one, three. That doesn't look right either. So I'm guessing we don't just click them in order. I'm guessing this has to be in position one. So it goes up, down, right, left. Up, down, right, left. Alright, let's let's give that a go. Up, down, right, left. This is gonna be annoying. So this rotates everything.
up, down, right, left. You'll need to rotate the hooks into some set position to unlock a secret passage. Okay, I must be a retard. Let's have a look at this again. Up, down, right, left. Four, two, one, three. Come on. Yeah. So why... Okay. If that's the case, right? So if you just have to make it exactly the way it was shown under there, what's the point of the numbers? Oh, I mean, they're just confusing, aren't they? Whatever. Actually, before I go up there, let's have a look. By moving the hooks around, you have opened a secret passage. By George! But I want to look inside. Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. Okay. We'll have some rest then. After some rest, you feel better. After some rest, you feel better. I mean, this guy, he sleeps standing up. It's pretty amazing. After some rest, you feel better. I couldn't even stand around for 10 minutes straight, still as he is. Look, no, no moving, no nothing. No idle animations. Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. <laughs> I wish I could use that excuse for my wife. After some... I'm too stiff and sore right now. After some rest. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's After a really some... bad joke. <laughs> Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. That's it. I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. I'll tell you how it goes. <laughs> I'm After gonna say rest, you feel better. I'm too stiff and too stiff and sore to use this right now. There's only a certain amount of punishment your body uh, can stand on any given day. Enough pain, enough gain for now. Try again tomorrow. And I'll say that if she asks me why. This track is funky. You climb down the ladder into a seedy looking room. A massive door blocks off a smaller room in the rear. This isn't as dusty as the Adventurers Guild, and the torches look recently lit. Your eye is drawn to the Thieves Guild recruiting poster on the back wall. It gives you fond memories of your home guild. Yeah, yeah. the Thieves Guild. Can't turn it up anymore. Flickering flames flared in the sconce. This is rather weird. Isn't this place deserted? Mm. This is a Thieves Guild recruiting poster, featuring a sophisticated worldly master thief. Here ho, here in an ho. early excess of 3D poster art techniques, the artist has arranged the poster so that the thief is holding an actual plastic card a legend at the bottom says, Don't thieve home without it. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, that's a really unthief like thing to do. Causing wanton damage tends to discourage people from leaving their valuables out for you. 
The double doors are, of course, locked. This is a thieves' guild, after all. The double doors are locked shut. The lock itself looks sophisticated, but the door has a simple sliding latch. If you had the right tool, you think you could easily slip the latch. Sliding latch, slip the lock. Every time I go to the shopping center and I don't have cash, I swipe my card to get what I want. You slip the guild membership card between the doors and unlatch the lock. Your guild card. Don't leave home without it. Did everyone figure out that puzzle? If you haven't played the game before. This looks like an interesting safe. Another fine product of the Filch Safe Company. But you can't for the life of you figure out how anyone can open a safe with no knob. There are a number of fascinating books about thief techniques on the bookshelves. Of special interest is the one on disarming traps. It says that with a new Mark II Thieves Toolkits and a bit of skill in picking locks, you can locate and disarm almost any mechanical trap. Nice. In the section on surviving magical traps, the book suggests taking up religion. There is also a book on thief marks that tells you all about this secret language of thieves. You learn a number of new symbols and combinations. Hmm. How many points did that give us? Okay, so it raised our intelligence a bit. We got some more strength from doing weights down there. Vitality, I guess that can't that came with the uh, the weights. Climbing because we went up the rope and grapnel and climbed the bookshelf. Did our honor go up or down? I really can't tell. I cannot tell. Alright, so what, we're stuck to finding the knob for this safe. Don't see any way to open the safe. It looks as if the knob is missing. Filch Safe Co. You know, honestly, this took me a really long time to figure out how to open this safe. Actually, a couple of years later. That's how long it took me to figure this, this puzzle out. I was a kid. You may say I could have been retarded, who knows. But, um, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty tricky because this doesn't really... It just tells you the company of the safe, and if you think too hard about it, then this puzzle is probably difficult. I think the easiest way to solve this puzzle is by taking it by, by face value and simply just looking at what information is displayed at you, and just going from there. I'll show you later on. You examine the metal grate on the floor. It might be a drainage grate, but it's strange that there should be two of them right next to each other. This is a drainage grate. Strange that there should be two of them almost next to each other. There's something strange that there's two grates next to each other. Rummaging around under the floor drain, you find a round knob with a point on one side which you pick up. Thieves have had to clean up after themselves since a few unfortunate accidents with maintenance personnel. Cool, so we got the knob. Now that you've replaced the safe knob, the filch safe looks ripe for the cracking. You know, kind of like a walnut. To open the safe, you will need to spell out the combination with alternating right and left turns. A, B, C, D, E, F, I, H, I, J, K, 
L Bill Bill quickly rifle the opened safe. Unfortunately, it looks as though legions of Thieves Guild initiates have been here before you, as all the money is gone. You do find five throwing daggers placed here for, well, <laughs> safekeeping. Ha 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 ha. The only other usable thing in the safe is a single lockpick, half buried in dust in one corner. You grab the lockpick and the daggers. Cool. Alright, so we got a lockpick. We can do something now. What's, what's this? There's nothing in these barrels. They look like chests. Like, you know, the lid of a chest? That looks like a barrel. That looks like a barrel strategically placed with cropping around it. Because it must be a barrel that moves. Same with this wall. This wall looks like it's being cropped. To be used in animation. What would you do here? Would you open the desk? Let's try. You're kidding, right? The desk is, of course, locked. Oh, how silly of me. If we force the drawer open, we risk getting booby-trapped. If we try to pick the lock, it's the same as forcing the drawer open, only in a nicer way. So, we'll search for some traps. You found a particularly diabolical poison gas trap. Fortunately, it's just like one of those described in the book on traps, so you are able to disarm it. Great. Good thing we just read that book, huh? Alright, let's pick the lock. Ah, that did it. The lock springs open with a satisfying snick. Inside the desk, you find a complete and hardly used Mark II Thieves Toolkit. Yes! It has all the latest facilities for opening the toughest locks, cracking safes, and disarming mechanical traps. There is one lockpick missing from the set, so you add yours to it. You also find a fancy match set of three throwing daggers, which you add to your collection. Finally, you find some sort of diary or logbook in the desk. The title of the book reads, Memoirs of a Master Manipulator. Modest, eh? You take it out and set it on the desk, but it's a little heavy to carry around with you. Um, well, I'll just leave that for a second, and I'll just have a look at this This is a Thieves Guild recruiting poster. I've already seen that. The poster is firmly attached to the wall. There's nothing behind this one. The poster is firmly attached to the hmm. Alright. Well, while we're here, let's have a look at this barrel. You depress the barrel tap, but nothing comes out. Instead, the barrel slides across the wall to reveal some sort of mechanism. This is a door unlocking mechanism. To operate it, Push each of the tiles until all nine tiles have been set to the correct pattern to open the door. Okay, seriously, I have absolutely no idea what the combination for this is. And it seems like a pretty tricky puzzle to solve. I could just go through press this button a couple of times and we'll just solve it automatically without any thinking involved but I think you and me we would much rather solve this prob puzzle the way it was meant to be solved and we will solve this puzzle in the next video so thank you for watching and we'll see you in part 3